So we've come to verse 11 in our study of 2 Corinthians 4, and as we read verse 11, it looks really similar to verse 10. Verse 10 said, always carrying in the body of the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. Verse 11 says, for we who live are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake so that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So Paul really seems to be just reiterating the same thought. We we suffer, we bear these difficulties and struggles in our lives so that other people will see that God is the one that's giving us the power to do that. Remember, we talked about that last time. And a few weeks ago, we looked at that verse uh, earlier in verse 7, where he says, we have this treasure in jars of clay. So we're weak, God is strong. Okay, we get that. But I want you to notice something that stands out to me, at least, in verse 11 that we haven't seen to this point. He says, for we who live are always being given over to death, so we're, we're suffering. But the next phrase says, for Jesus' sake. This is the motivation. This is the reason. Now, we have already said, you know, we, of course, have this ministry that God has given to us. We are concerned about people who are lost. We are concerned that people understand God's power and can, you know, so that they might trust him and experience his power in their lives as well. But I want you to notice that ultimately Paul says this is happening. We are doing this. We are going to keep going. We're going to endure suffering ultimately for Jesus' sake. Now, I'm sure that most of you or many of you may have experienced this in your lives. When you do the right thing, you honor God with your life. You even endure suffering. You keep going and you think, where, where are all the people coming to Christ because of what I'm suffering? Okay, I'm supposed to do this so that other people can see God's glory in me as they can understand that the excellency of the power is, is Christ and not my own. I see all that, Mike. I get all that. I hear what you're saying, but I don't see anyone else's life changing. I don't see that I'm impacting anyone in this way or that God is using me to impact them. Well, sometimes we don't see the effect directly from living our lives this way, from enduring, from keeping going, from allowing God's power to see through us. Sometimes we don't see it. And so what's our motivation? How, how do we keep going? Paul says we do all of this for Jesus' sake. Can I encourage you today, my friends, that no matter what is going on in your life, if you are sincerely living the submitted life, the Christ-centered life, and you are suffering for it, and God is strengthening you, and you are enduring, and you are continuing, but you're not seeing people flock to Christ around you, you're not seeing lives changed, where am I having the impact? Can I encourage you to keep going for Jesus' sake? Sometimes we keep going because it is what he asks of us. And as obedient disciples, that is what we do. We obey, we continue for his sake.